Hey, Slater Crusaders, America's the greatest country in the world. Happy Thursday, best day of the week. Glad you're here. Uh, yesterday, we talked about this woman, Robin D'Angelo. Remember, we were reading this uh, op-ed from a woman from Cameroon, and she's like, I never used to believe this whole, uh, you know, Black Lives Matter narrative or whatever. And then, and then she started to talk about, she started to use these words. I was like, oh, something... <laughs> You've been reading someone, haven't you? And then later she, she quotes Robin DiAngelo. I was like, ah, yeah, okay, that's where that is. So Robin DiAngelo is the person who coined the phrase white fragility. And she's created a nice business for herself, touring around and lecturing white people about how terrible they are. So in our effort to answer the question that I think we're supposed to be asking, which is what do you want a white person to do? Uh, and I want to be clear, it's not this big cosmic, what do you want white people to do. That's not, no, 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 don't give me that. Because like that's such a ridiculous, that's a ridiculous question. Like, I don't, I'm not gonna be like, well, here's what I want black people to do. No, talk about an individual. What specifically do you want a white person to do? So, Robin D'Angelo would be the person to ask, right? She makes a ton of money touring around pushing, pushing this white fragility that she coined in 2011. She wrote a book in 2018 about it. So she made this five minute video for this website called Big Think. You probably come across a big think video before. They have 2.75 million subscribers, right? So the headline of it is, uh, this is the paradigm shift that could stop racism. This, and I was like, this is perfect. I want to know what to do, and what's the paradigm shift that I need to be a part of to stop racism? Let's watch the video. Here's the first part. The number one question I get when I give a talk is, okay, okay, now what do I do? And that question has bothered me for a long time. One, to be really honest, I think it's disingenuous. I don't think white people really want to know what to do unless it's the most simplistic thing, which, which is just keep being friendly. That question tends to function as a way to jump over the hard personal work and just get to the answer or get to the solution. It's a little bit arrogant for folks who have never in their life thought deeply about this and after an hour they want to get the answer and go fix it. Okay, so I am arrogant and disingenuous. Okay, that's, that's the great way to start. Okay, that being said, what if I also want to know what to do? <laughs> right? so, so you say I'm arrogant and disingenuous, fine, uh, but also I want to know what to do. What if uh, uh, Tuesday's blackout on Instagram really inspired me to, I, like, re I really want to know what to do. I'm already disingenuous, but what else can we do here? At the same time, we can't wait till we have it all figured out, right? And so I will offer a challenging question back, and then I will answer the what do we do. So what I, my reply to that question is, what about your life has allowed you to be a full functioning, professional, educated adult and not know what to do about racism? How have you managed not to know? Why is that your question? People of color have been telling, this, telling us this for a very long time. So that question is meant to be a challenge. It's also sincere. Take out a piece of paper and start writing down why you don't know. All right, all right, hold on. <laughs> okay, so you're telling me, Robin, someone genuinely comes to you. you. You're the author of the book on white fragility. And someone wants to know what they can do to be a part of the solution. And the first thing you do is shame them? How could you not know? <laughs> right? What a ridiculous like. Imagine if you did this with anything else in life. Right? So imagine if someone came to me and said, Slater, you talk a lot about the Bible on the show. You talk a lot about Christianity and Jesus. I'd like to know more about Jesus. What do I do? And imagine if I said, well, hold on. Let me ask you a question first. How is it possible that you can be an adult human being and not already know what to do. Unbelievable. So why don't you just start with that and write down why you don't already know what to do to be a Christian, and then you get back to me. Right, imagine if I shamed you for asking a completely genuine question. And like, it could be literally with anything. Slater Crusaders, thanks for watching the first on YouTube. If you want more, like, subscribe. We got plenty.